at the mountains of Ararat. In verse 5, the Bible says, And the waters decrease continually, could decrease continually until the tenth month. In the tenth month, on the first day of the month, where the tops of the mountains sin. But in verse number 9, the dove found no rest for the sole of his foot, and she returned unto the ark. For the waters were on the face of the whole earth, then put forth his hand and took her and pulled her unto him into the ark. And he stayed yet another seven days and again sent forth the dove out of the ark. And the dove came in the evening and lo, in her mouth was an olive leaf. Somebody say, I can see that. Somebody say, I can see that. The dove came with an olive leaf black off. So no one knew that the waters were abated from the earth. Verse 12. And he stayed yet another seven days. And sent the dove. And returned not again unto him anymore. Verse 15, and God spoke to Noah, saying, Go forth of the ark, and thy wife and thy sons, and thy sons' wives with thee. 20, and Noah built an altar to the Lord. 21, and the Lord smelled a sweet savor, a, a sweet savor. Verse 22, while the other means, seed time and harvest, cold and heat, Summer and winter, day and I and night shall do what? Shall do what? Shall do what? Shall never, never, ever cease. We are sanctifying a new season tonight. We are here for a heavenly business. We are sanctifying from this altar a new season in the land. Somebody shout, a new season is coming. Come on, prophesy like a prophet and say, a new season is coming. Say it again from your heart because we are changing the situation. Say, a new season is coming. A new season is coming. The curtain are opening up so for something new again, the sun is going to shine on us again. I say the sun is going to shine on us again. It has been cold and we have been in a cold place. But the new season, I can see it dawning now. Oh my enemies. You know that what Micah says in chapter 7 verse 8 of the book of Micah. He says, oh my enemies, do not rejoice over me when I fall. The Lord will lift me up again. He says, when I sit in darkness, this same God, when you see me taking cover, this same God shall bring brightness back to my life again we cannot say down i'm speaking this like a man who has had something new from god because god is saying a new season is dawning i say a new season is dawning you see first chronicles 12 that it will, I'll, I'll come back to what i want to preach tonight in a short while first chronicles 12 that it will, the bible says and the sons of Issachar. They had understanding of times. To know what Israel ought to do. Their chiefs, uh, 200, I don't care about the numbers, they don't help me tonight. But these sons of Issachar, they were blessed with something that I will pray it don't on everyone tonight before you leave this place. And of course, welcome those who are joining us. You are blessed to be there also. Before you leave this place, may God give you insight so that you may get to understand beyond what 
what we can see with our physical eyes and beyond what we can hear and what we can see happening. God give us to see not with our eyes but with our spirit to be able to understand and do according to what is expected of us in this season. And like the sons of Issachar, we may become a help to the people whom are being led astray and down the drain. The sons of Issachar, they had understanding of times. They were able by God's grace. This is one tribe of the 12 tribes of Jacob. But this tribe, there were men in that tribe that would not just do things because things are happening. They would just, they would instruct Israel and tell men, it's time for David to become king and they would be first to sense it. The understanding. You see, James says, if you don't have wisdom, ask of God. Uh, Proverbs 5 would say, that uh, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not, lean not on your own understanding. Our capacity cannot sense times and seasons. Times and seasons are prophetic. And so the only way to catch them is with understanding from God. Hey, say to God, God, I want to understand what is happening. When Solomon became king, he did not go to the throne first. He knew it's a change of God. And this change of God is a change of season. And if it's a change of season, you need God to help you to understand how even to react and behave and act in that season. Because I'm telling you, there is a change of God in the spirit. There is a handover happening right now in the spirit. One amen is enough for me. I don't need to. I have to believe in God and believe in myself. Oh Jesus, before your amen comes, I am believing God. There is a change of God. I speak it because I can see it. Something is leaving. Something is coming. It looks like a new dawn. It looks like the shine. That the sun is beginning to shine in a place where there was no light. I can see it. Solomon went to the mountain and took his time on the mountain, crying for one thing, Lord, I want you to give me to understand. Give me understanding. Because by strength, church, if we def- depend on our faculties we cannot prevail we will be tricked and those seasons have changed we will be left in bondage while freedom is already released seasons have changed I can hear God occasioning a season change you see in Acts 34 The Bible says this. I'm coming back to Genesis. We we read Genesis. I'm coming back to that. In Acts 10 verse 34. The Bible says for God shows no partiality. Uh, uh, He doesn't have. In the book of Romans I think 5.11. He doesn't have favorites. Or he's not a respecter of persons. The way God behaved or reacted or acted because the God of action the way he acted in the past can give you light to what is happening right now and I pray to God that he takes away the panic the enemy had put in people's heart it was not from God our God has not put anything that will bring dishonor to himself and to his glory The panic that you see is coming and was coming from the enemy. We must be bold as a lion because this is a season of transition. If you fear, fear will become a snare 
and many have been ensnared and caught up by the wickedness that has been happening around. Be bold as a lion. In the days of Abraham, in Genesis chapter 12 and chapter number 13, when there was drought and heaviness that came in the prophetic times, the Lord used it to work for good for Abraham. Thank you. Yes, yes, yes. God shows no partiality. So if he dealt so with Abraham, because he was his beloved, it's the same, same thing that is happening in this season. He cannot do better to Abraham than he does to you because he doesn't have favorites. He doesn't have sons and grandsons. All that receives him, uh, John 1, 12 says, all that received him, he gave them the same power, the same position, the same placing in his reference to become sons of the living God. You can never become anything lesser or more. Abraham and you are in one bracket. Famine came and hit the land. Abraham went, oh God help me to preach what I came to preach. Abraham went down to Egypt. It worked for good for him. It didn't work for bad for him. It can never work for bad for you. I wish you get what I've just said. In chapter 26 of the same Genesis, when Isaac was hit, Bible says there came another famine, not the one that was in Abraham's days, another one. But I tell you of truth, Bible says that famine did not leave Isaac devastated. How can you be devastated by ah, God is at work? We are not at the masses of hell. We remain to be sons of God. That the full four, that 414 of, of Exodus says, this God is a jealous God. He can never destroy a righteous with the wicked. I want to take my stand. He said it to Abraham when angels were going down to Egypt, to Sodom and Gomorrah. The Bible says, Abraham asked him, Will you also destroy the righteous together with the wicked? Our God answered and said, Far be it from me to destroy the righteous together with the wicked. We are the apple of God's eye. If anything has touched you, I can tell you, God is going to avenge. For any loss, the Lord has to bring seven for anything that was stolen from you. It can never be the same. Okay, let's go to Noah. Let's go to Noah because we came to preach something. But I hear and I can tell you the truth. There is a change of season. May God open your eyes. May your understanding be in the truth. So that the lie may not overwhelm you. Things are happening and they will happen very fast. The yoke has been broken. The yoke you saw, it is powerless right now. The enemy went, wants to gain glory. But it's not when we are around. It cannot. See the devil come down. See the devil crash. Romans 16 verse 20. Soon I'll bring the enemy under your feet. You shall see it. So the Bible says this. In the book of Genesis. And someone need to stop this clock. So that we can preach tonight. Then the Lord said to know. Come in the ark. You and your household. Because I've seen you. Righteous. He cannot destroy a righteous man. Whatever is happening to the wicked, say no to it when you see it around you. It doesn't have a right. Is it lock I stand I? What do you call that thing? It doesn't have a right. It cannot. It's not allowed. It's not, it doesn't have legal ground. Over our lives, the Lord.
don't sit no coming wickedness is released judgment is released but you know come into the ark 24 the bible says and the, you know the waters came for 40 days it was not easy it was not easy outside the ark we go to take cover whenever judgments are coming we take our cover on the in the rock and that is Jesus. You must stay confessing the word. You must stay believing what you believe. You must stay undercover. Don't expose yourself. Don't believe in what they are saying no to. You see, they, whatever we say yes, they say no. You must stay true to what you believe. Every season, every time. No matter who speaks, listen to your shepherd. My sheep know my voice, he says. You must listen to us because his spirit bears witness with your spirit. God must witness to you. Don't listen to what they say. Listen to what heaven says. Always. And when everybody thought it was a joke, God said to know, come into the ark. I know he must have been scorned. I know he must have been mocked. Because it was unusual. But the Lord can never destroy a righteous together with the wicked. He said, far be it from me. Can never do that. Somebody says the season is changing. Somebody receive a new season. Say, Welcome new season. This service is occasioning a season change in your life. I say this one service is occasioning the way things are happening to you they are going to radically change i command a season change in your life according to the word of the lord i declare from now you are in a new season thank you you know there's that hallelujah that you feel is coming from the spirit and you feel like I, that word has landed this word will bear fruit a hundredfold. Amen. This word is from heaven. It will bear fruit one hundredfold. Now, the Bible says the waters prevailed upon the earth. It was hell on earth. Because 40 days of waters coming from heavens and from the billows of the earth, every well was open. The well, the earth was, was just oozing water from every point and heavens were pouring without a stop for 40 days and the waters rose all to the tops of the mountains and beyond and the bible says this you see the water stayed for a trend for 40 days but the water stayed for 370 days that's past one year an year is 365. Beyond one year, the whole earth was a mess. But the church was safe. Those who are under God, they were still safe. And God, and please pay attention to this because it's so abundant in my heart. God was willing to bring his own to a new season. God was willing to usher them back to a new season. You know what's happening now? We are exactly at that point where we have to leave the ark. Now you know. Now you've got, that's what I'm calling understanding. Because if you lack understanding, you will not know what you ought to do in this time. We are just about to disembark. Have peace now. I say have peace now. And I'm talking about the church. We are about to disembark. And know what the Bible says. After 150 days, then the ark is settled on top of Mount Alalat. Another 150 days, then the waters began or were abated. And then the Bible says, after seven days, he sent a raven. Bad man has living, the river never came back. Then he's saying the dove. The dove went to wherever the love went, I don't know. 
You know, it feeds on carcass. I think there was a lot of stuff for it to enjoy. Huh? So the lover never came back. Then he sends a dove. The dove doesn't have a place to land. It comes back, he stretches out his hand, and he picks it back to the, to the ark. Seven more days, he sends it out. And then the, 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 the dove goes out. But the good report was after seven days, it came back with an olive branch. And this is what I see tonight. That's why I've told you, have peace. We see an olive on the beak of the dove that has been sent. We see it saying, an olive, an olive is a sign of peace. We see something good coming now. Jeremiah 29, I'm coming back. Jeremiah, in the time he was prophesying, in chapter 29, verse number 4, you know he told them, if I can get it, because it has just come to me. That says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, to all who are carried away captive, whom I caused to be carried away from Jerusalem to Babylon. He says to them, build houses, dwell in them, plant gardens, eat their fruit. The next one is sweet also. Take wives, beget sons, ah, and daughters, and take wives for your sons and for your daughters and husbands, so that they may bear uh, sons and daughters, that you may be increased and not be diminished. And seek peace for the city which have caused you to be carried away captive. And pray to the Lord for it, for in its peace you will have peace. When Jeremiah was saying this, things looked too bad. But he gave a light, which is called understanding. Which is the prophetic word for the moment. He told them, don't listen to the voices. Tell your neighbor, don't listen to the lie. He told them, the land that you are being taken captive, the season that you are in, it's a bad one. Looks so bad as you get into Babylon. But walk with this revelation. Walk. Don't go fighting. Don't go being intimidated. Don't go panicking. He told them, when you get to the land, build houses. Today I feel the same confidence to tell you, carry out your vision. People had stopped buying land. People have stopped investing because of what is happening. Today I license you like Jeremiah. Do it. Amen. Buy shares now in the stock exchange that is falling. Buy now. Invest heavily now. Jeremy told, Jeremiah told them, buy houses, build now. Young girls, you need to get married. God licenses you. Marry now. And don't just marry, get pregnant. People are panicking, they are not, they, they, they don't want to, they don't know what is happening. Get pregnant of twins. It's no time to panic. It's no time to fear. We have done everything to put us in fear and in panic. It is what Jeremiah is telling them. Don't listen to those voices. You must listen to the voice of understanding of times. He tells them, plant vineyards. Your sons when they give birth, give them wives also. Give your daughters husbands also. Let them get children. Increase church. Preach another crusade. Preach, do something. We are not dying. We are going nowhere. We are still here. He tells them, plant vineyards and enjoy your fruits. Today I license you. Just do it. Bold like a lion. Because Bible says in Psalms 126 and verse number 1, when the Lord turned the captivity, of Zion, they were like they that dreamt dreams. Ah, they don't have it. Samson 26 verse 1. When the Lord turned the captivity of Zion, they were like they that dreamt dreams. They thought it was not happening. Seasons change. Can I tell you? Because Daniel says, 
uh, 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 in the book, I think Daniel chapter number four, the Bible says God is in charge of times and seasons. He removes a king and I don't know what I'm seeing. I can see a change of something. I can see something. There's something I'm seeing like a, something is changing. Something is just changing. Father, we pray, just do it very fast. Don't spare no one. Don't spare nothing. Let it be known there's only one God who reigns in heaven and reigns over the kingdoms of men. You remove one king and you put in another one. The king of the earth who was called the king of kings and the lord of lords, his name was Nebuchadnezzar. He was humbled to accept to say that. He was shown by Daniel his tree, which was the greatest kingdom, the head of gold, which is prophesied in other places as a lion. He was shown by Daniel, your tree will be chopped. You will be thrown to the bushes. You will eat with wild animals like an ox. You will grow nails like grow, uh, 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 nails of, a, of, a what? of an eagle. They called crows. Huh? You'll be a waste. And God said to him, Because I'm in charge of times and seasons. Not men. No man can command a season change. Not one. Times and seasons are in the hands of the living God. When the Lord turned the captivity of Zion, or when the Lord brought back the captivity of Zion, we were like they that dream dreams. Then we heard our neighbors say, then our mouths were filled with laughter. And our tongues were thinking, then said among the nations, the neighbors, the people around them, they say, the Lord has done great things for them. Yes, the Lord has done great things for us. Verse 3. Yes, the Lord. Verse 3. The Lord has done great things for us. And we are glad for. They bring back our captivity, O Lord. Like the streams of Negev. Continue. Those who sow in tears shall reap in joy. Those that continue, let's go. He who continue God's weeping, bearing the seed for sowing, shall doubtless, 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 no doubt about that, uh, 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 come back rejoicing, bringing in the shield seven. I like this now. Seven. Finished. Hallelujah. Shall bring, get back. That's all chapter 126 has. Hallelujah, chapter 126. You see, when the Lord turned their captivity, they were like they that were dreaming. They thought, can this surely happen? Every season has an end. I remember them in the same Babylon. They were say, singing another song saying, by the rivers of Babylon, where we sat down, there we wept, when we remembered of Zion, they were, they were in a mourning mood. They looked every day like yesterday, yesterday like tomorrow, tomorrow like the next day. They thought, how can we sing hallelujah in a strange land? How can we sing the Lord's song? How can we dance when things are just, let me tell you, dance out your life. Psalms chapter number 30. He has turned my mourning into dancing. Give me some study. I don't know where I am, but give me just some stuff to that. Verse 5. For the anger of the Lord is just for a moment. Weeping may endure for a night. Ah, my God, I, these scriptures that are coming are just too sweet for my heart. I believe in what God is doing in my spirit right now. This is just about another season change. Just drop to me and, and turns out to be just what I'm preaching. We bring may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Nights cannot endure forever. They cannot. Every day has got hours, 12 for the night, 12 for the day. We bring can endure for a night, but the day must break. Seasons must change. Verse 6, what does they say? Now in my prosperity, I said, I will not be moved. Seven. Of what profit is it? Seven. 
Lord, but your favor, you have made my mountain to stand strong. You hid your face. And I was troubled, Lord. It's a season of darkness. You understand? You understand? Oh, are you still there? Verse 8. I cried out to you, O oh Lord. And to the Lord, I made my supplications. Keep moving. What profit is there? If my blood goes down to the pit, if I die, Mungu, that's, that's David uh, uh, fighting it out with God. He's asking God, what profit is there if my blood goes to the pit? Can the pit, can the dust praise you? Huh? Will it declare your truth? That's a man who is just commanding a season change. He is very sure that the night should not go beyond 12 hours. He is very sure you cannot stay in the ark forever. You must see a season change. And he says, Hear, O oh Lord. Have mercy on me, O oh Lord. Be my helper. Close it. You have turned my morning into dancing. That's a result of such a prayer. You have turned my morning into dancing. You have put off my sackcloth and clothed me with what? Ah. God changed these seasons now. Your seasons will change. Tonight I speak like your prophet. And it's for your prophets tonight. To give you understanding. What profit is it if you die of corona? Will the dust praise God? God cannot allow us to perish like fools. He cannot. He will not allow us to die like fools. Because in the dust there is no praises. As long as I live, I'll come to church and dance myself out. Yes, I'll sing my Hosea song with gladness. Oh yes, because he has put up my... He has taken away our mourning. We are not going to mourn again. Seasons are changing for our good. Watch this word. I told you it's coming to fruition a hundredfold. The devil must lose. The devil must lose. Where were we? We in Genesis, this is what we are preaching tonight. And we've got two minutes to just wrap what we have got to speak tonight. You see, chapter 8, the Bible says, verse 1. The Bible says, chapter 8, verse 1, take me there so that I don't close myself out. We have put a curfew to the curfew. We have put a lockdown to the lockdown in Jesus' name. We hate you, lockdown. We hate you with passion. Then God remembered Noah and everything they are in. God is going to remember us. I'm saying, God has remembered you. God has remembered you. God cannot keep you in that act forever. Seasons are changing. And God remembered Noah and all living things and all the animals that were with him in the ark. And God made it to pass over the earth and the waters subsided. Numbers will go down to zero. They will look for anything to tell you to wear a mask for. They will lack it. May our God prosper that one. Watatafuta sababu ya kudunga sindano wakose. Maji ya shuke. Ah. Tulisema naeta wa kudungwa na adungwe. Mimi si dungwe. Mimi kila najua maji ya nashuka. Lakini wakuta wa kudungwa. Kama unaamini hiyo kitu, dungwa. Nalingana pia na imani ya mtu. Nazima imani ijengeke. E, ujenge imani yangu niambia hii kitu ni ya kweli. Na uniandikia ni nini na nini kondani yake. Kabla sija dungwa. Nisi dungwa kitu ambacho sielewe. Lakini uwa ambao umesha elewa nini kondani dungwa. Usalama wangu kwa kwa safina. Hii safina imeniokoa mara nyingi. Hii safina ya Noa imetuokoa sisi mara nyingi. Kama si Mungu tungeshali mezo tukiwa hai, si mara moja, mara ngapi umejipata kwa ajali na Mungu akakukomboa? Ah, 
Asubuhi Mungu katuambia kwamba ametuokoa na mtego wa mwindaji. Kama ndege aliyekuwa ameekewa mtego na Mungu akatuambia nimeshawa na sua. Na baki akiwa hemaya yetu. Na baki yeye akiwa ngome yetu. Na baki akiwa majificho yetu. Na baki akiwa jabari letu. Kimbilio letu na usalama wetu hatutaibika atatuweka salama na atatuvusha salama. Maji haya yatashuka. Tutatangaza maji haya yatashuka. Maji yashuke. Eya e mashandaya kwa ajili yetu haya maji na yashuke maana lazima tutoke Yes 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 haya maji atuwezi kagandamia kwa hema atuwezi kagandamia kwa hekalu kwa kwa safina atuwezi endelea hivi kubebwa huku na kule na huku na kule we must come back and build an altar and worship the time for the water subside according to the changer the one who is in charge of season the time for the waters to go down is now 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 as we prophesy today as we speak this word the waters must go down they will look for chains to chain us again they will not get them the lord shame these waters this time stand up because our time is gone Oh Jesus 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 that's why we bind you Kathy we hate you don't help us you are not our ark look at this when the water subsided i told you the dove has come back right now the dove has come back it has got an olive branch or leaf in its beak i want to dream with it because that is your portion I want to see you to see it so that you can begin doing what you're supposed to do. Because unless you hear this, you will not do what God wants to do in this season. This is the understanding that God brought to your attention tonight. That there is a leaf, an olive leaf in the beak of the dove that we sent out. It has come saying things are working for our better. After another on 50 days, the water starts down. After 777, then the waters were down, down, down. Then God himself came and said to Noah, come out. I release you from bondage. It was not comfortable in the ark. It has not been comfortable in this season. But I tell you, the Lord stands at the door and tells Noah, come out of the ark. You and the animals. When Noah came out and saw the salvation the Lord had delivered him through. Because there was nothing to compare. There were no other animals. Other than the animals with him in the ark. There were no other survivors. Other than him and his family in the ark. He built an altar to God. This God. Lift up your hands and worship this God. Worship this God of our salvation. Oh, share it in a bows and tie. Mungu wa woku vu wangu. Hey, Jova. Was tie is not see fever. Akuna come away. Akuna come away. Yes, just worship him in your own way. Kule kuwa kama mungu Uliona sikitu Uliona sikitu Chakushika mana nacho Chakushika mana nacho Uka hacha enzi Na kashuka kwetu Kule kuwa kama mungu sema Kule kuwa kama mungu Uliona sikitu Uliona sikitu Chakushika wana na chowu Chakushika na chowu Uka acha enzi kutu kombo Please up your hands and just worship the Lord 
Worship the Lord. Tell him this altar. This altar. This altar. You have given me, Lord Jesus, this altar. You have spoken a word of a season change. Come on, worship him. Worship him in understanding. Worship him in understanding. Today is a good day to look at the God of the altar and say, Lord of the altar, Lord, we're going to worship you. You need to allow them to swallow us alive. Where is a believer who sees things like no? Where is that believer who looks at the word of God and trembles? Worship and say, Somebody bless him for the season change. Tell him you are Yahweh. Tell him you are Yahweh. You are the mighty one forever. You don't compete with the men. You are not in discussion with the council. You are not in New York. And you are not in the parliament of Kenya. You are God by yourself. You are God by yourself. You are God by yourself. Heavens bow down and say hallelujah. Oh shatagadabohekei. The kings of the earth, Nebuchadnezzar. They say there is no other God. Commanded Lord. We honor you, Lord. Command the season change. Oh, you that command the heavens and the earth shakes, oh God Almighty. You that command the seas and the seas dry up. You that command the mountains and they bow like quacks, oh God. Hey, hey, yeah, yeah. Madagandai, we honor your word. Oh, we honor your season change. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. What a mighty God you are. Yatatana Magando, Yakatana Magandai, Ide Kadabakui, Iba Shatakabo, Anto Moseta Yanda. Our seasons change. We receive season change in the name of the Lord. Hey, 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 Something is happening. Something is happening around the church. The church is going back to the altar. The church is going back like Noah. Oh, God is calling it out. God is calling it out again. We prophesy it. We shall build houses. We shall get married. Let's take it from God. Take your ticket to get married. Take your ticket to build your house. Take your ticket to bear sons and daughters. Take care for God right now. He licenses us tonight. Hey. Oh, because you have been praying for the peace of the land. And the peace of the land is working for good for us. Because Jeremy told them, pray for the peace of the land. Where you are kept is the dwelling places you are in. So that in peace you can have peace. In his prosperity you shall have your prosperity. Get your ticket from the Holy Ghost. Say. Whatsoever you want, is it to build a house? Is it to make a worthy investment? Take your ticket, I release it to you. As you do it, it shall prosper this time. As you do it, you shall build and accomplish this time. The license is released because it must increase and not be diminished, says the Lord through Jeremiah. Ha 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 ha. no Mosentai. Father, I take your word to license the people of God. Hey, I command a season change. I believe and so I speak in the name of Jesus. Captivity. Be taken captive. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Because there is no one like you, Jehovah. When you speak, the mountains bow down. Ho, 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 ho. Who are the kings of the earth? You ask Job, where were you when I was laying the foundations of the earth? I threw the same word to the kings of the earth. And the powers they are in. Can you bring out a Lafidian with a hook? 
Shireke de gerebo kuntai. Hukanama gantobo zuntai. Were you there when he was sinking? The pillars of this earth. Father, only you can command the season change. Nobody can stop the heavens. Nobody can stop your power. We are church, Lord. Prophesy what you say. We declare what is happening in heaven. Our Father works, and so we speak it in the name of Jesus. Let the water subside. We prophesy to you, waters. You must come down to zero. Our dove in the spirit says there is peace on earth. There must be rejuvenation. There must be revival. There must be the world reconciled to its maker. There must be business again. There must be houses again. There must be marriages again. Ha, ha. Oh, thank you for the olive, Lord. Holy Kedagada. We speak it all over the world. Oh, she de Kedebona. Kaburi Lili Shindwa. Kukushi Kashuja. Hukato Kanangovo. Namamula. Go make it. Wafungua, wafungua, twa kwa budu milele. Ilo kaburi. Kaburi lili shindwa, kukushika shuja. Oh, 
he deserves it. Praise him for his worthy. I hate your praising. If you praise like that, the stones will rise up and just praise him. Hey, choir, help me. If he has a competitor, let him stand up today. If God had an opposition, you know there are opposition leaders. Whoever is an opposition leader of God, let him stand up tonight. Yes. Whoever can stop God, let him speak tonight. Yes. I read Job 38 at 9.40.41 today. It shocked me when God came to speak back to Job. I give a challenge to anyone who feels he's an opposition leader of God. Let him speak tonight. Let him speak tonight. In Jesus' name. You're blessed. Amen. You're blessed also. Bahari ya kuti Milima ya tete imeka Kwa sauti ya kutu Umbaji wa vyote Nini bwana wangu Ilio ngumu kwako Yote unaweza Yote unaweza Umbaji wa vyote Hosha kinagada So time to give to the Lord Nini bwana wangu you know, Noah built an altar when he saw what God has done. Tonight, we are building an altar of saying, we are out of that season. Somebody say, I'm out of that season. I don't care what season you think you are in. God has opened the door for the ark. You are out of danger. He said to us on Sunday, we cannot capsize. We have been in those high waters, turbulent, but he could not allow us to capsize. He's opening the door for us to land out safely. Worship. Those who are at home, our worship number, our pay bill number is 991070. Our account number is 5A. Our worship number has pay bill number. Please build an altar like Noah. When God received that sweet smell, I'm promising you this. As you worship tonight, God will get the sweet smell from your offering. He will speak a blessing. Thank you, Mary. I'm saying God got a sweet smell from that altar. You believe you're out of danger? You believe it? You believe in season change? Bahari mm. Akuti Prepare your offering. Milima ya tete meka. Kwa sauti ya kotu. I believe I'm on, out of that danger. I'm going to worship my God. I'm going to worship my God. I'm not in the control of the powers of the rains. The powers of the rains have been overcome by the power of the maker of the rains. Bahari ya kuti. Hey. Oh, but you have your tail. Nini Bwana Wangu. Lili Longu Mukwako. Your tail no ways. Oh, but you have your tail. Utukufu Inwa sadaka yako kwa buwana Na sifa zote He buwana Pokea Pokea For what you have done Lord We believe it Na sifa zote Na sifa zote He buwana Father 
Noah built an altar. We build you this altar. Lord, on this altar we shall lay our offerings together with those who are giving by pay bill number. Lord, Lord, you have commanded the season change. And we believe it with all our hearts. You have opened the door of the ark for us. You have made this water subside so that we can build houses, marry, get into marriage, bear children, oh God, plant vineyards for ourselves as we wait for the coming of our Lord and Savior. We can only be overcome by evil. We must have to conquer and come home as conquerors. So as you receive this, I shall ask to a new season in Jesus' mighty name. We shall bring it to the altar, everybody. Those who are giving from home, we are doing this for you. As you drop, you must also be received by the altar.